I'm about rebroadcasting. Re uh, the fees that I have, I'm looking at a schedule right here, about $2 billion last year. Is that approximately true? And it's gone from about 1.3% in 2006 to about 7% of uh, the total fees paid to cable. Those, I mean, so it's been increasing as a percentage of the cable bill. What is the total amount, you said two income streams, what is the total value of advertising? Into, into, into broadcasting. It would vary with each broadcaster, but, but I, mean, I, I would annually. say a, a general rule, I would say um, somewhere between 15 and 30% of their revenue stream is retransmission consent. The balance, of course, is advertising. You know, the, the question I'm asking, so in terms of revenue streams coming to broadcast, where you get about $2 billion per year nationally in terms of rebroadcasting fees, what do you get in terms of advertising? I mean, that's that's hundreds of billions of dollars. It's correct? a lot of money. I can get you an exact number. I mean, the retransmission fees in the scheme of things is a pretty small amount of, of the revenue stream, correct? correct. But as, as telecommunications fractures and the advertising model gets smaller, how do you maintain the quality? How do you pay the athletes? How do you do provide all of the content that people demand the most, which comes from broadcast. Well, I know, I know. The, the, the business model is changing dramatically. Right. And again, I just come from the standpoint, I don't think government's particularly good at trying to redirect that business model very, very effectively. Another quick question in terms of the total value of the spectrum you have right now. I mean, yes, I, I realize that uh, broadcasters are, are uh, providing the local content and the emergency services, all type of thing, but there, there's, a, there's a huge value locked up right. in that spectrum, correct? In, any, anybody on the panel have a, some well, kind of estimate? Isn't this next auction supposed to bring in somewhere around $15 billion? And that's a, still a relatively small sliver of the spectrum, correct? Broadcasting has about 230 megahertz of spectrum. Wireless now has, I believe, over 500 megahertz. Much of it's still inventoried. Um, the government has the other half. Uh, not and all spectrum is created equal. Not all spectrum is created equal, but the truth of the matter is with the digital technology, comp digital compression technologies, spectrum gets more and more efficient what, all the time. Uh, broadband is paying for their spectrum? They've already purchased it? They've, it's been auctioned off? Providers, yes. In some so, cases. Do, do you have an, any idea how much, how, 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 how much that has cost? The, whatever the amount you've had? We paid uh, $3 billion for 40 megahertz of S-band spectrum in a bankruptcy auction several years ago. That was actually probably a pretty good deal, right? It was an auction. Well, I, know, I, fair. I, I understand. I'm, not, I'm just saying that was, that, that was again, I'm, ju I'm just trying to get some sort of feel of overall numbers, overall value when we start, because it's really easy to kind of throw around generalities in terms of you know, local content. And, but you, when you start putting a dollar to it, that, that's where competition starts kicking in. <laughs> and that's what we're really talking about here is, is dollars going to and from different individuals. That, that's how competition is created. Sure. I, I'm just trying to get the, you know, that basic information to tell me what's happening here. Okay, well, that's, that's all, thanks. Thank you. And